Hi, thanks for checking out this video. I'm your Everyday Joe. Today, I'm gonna to be making a sweet and spicy roasted chicken using the air fry oven. Stay tuned. All right, so this is gonna be a really easy recipe. Uh, this is about a three pound chicken. So uh, all we're gonna be using is uh, a little bit of butter and some salt, pepper, some, uh, some garlic, and I'm just gonna give it a rub down here. Uh, I'm gonna cook this a little bit differently. Uh, instead of having the whole chicken, I'm gonna cut it down the middle and we're gonna flatten it out just so everything sits uh, pretty level. So uh, I'm gonna grab couple of pads of butter and I'll leave all the ingredients down in the description below uh, if you guys are interested in grabbing that. So I'm going to use a little softened butter here. I'm just going to warm it up a little bit with my hands and and just give it a rub down. Okay. And I've already uh, washed and uh, dried. It's all nice, nice and dried here. So I'm hoping uh, this thing's going to roast up really nicely in the uh, air fryer oven here. So let's... Uh, Let's give it a nice massage here. All right. Wow. You know, I mean, who doesn't love a rub down with some butter? Come on. So I'm going to get all in there. So make sure he doesn't, doesn't get any cramps. And work out all the other kinks. Okay. And I know what you're thinking, Joe, you're having a little too much fun with that chicken. Yeah. It's been a tough year, so I think we're all kind of losing it a little bit. Some of us more than others. So that's uh, that's uh, you work the the triceps a little bit and little biceps, you know, little traps. Got a little workout in here. All right. So so nice and greased up here, nice and buttered. So come on. Get it all off my hands here, and I'm just gonna get some on the inside here because we're gonna uh, we're gonna split this anyway. So, okay, good, good, good. This is fun. All right, so we're just gonna grab a little bit of this Himalayan salt. We're gonna season it. Not gonna go too crazy with it because I'm gonna use a. Uh, a we're gonna use a, a, a little bit of basting. Okay, salt on the back. Okay, it's like one, two, three. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Okay. Nice and loose. We don't want them cramping up in there. There we go. Throw a little bit of garlic in here, garlic on the back side. So it's gonna get. Uh, it's gonna get a lot of the flavor from the garlic here. This is just a minced garlic. I use a couple of cloves of garlic. Okay. And yes, I am gonna add more once I set it on the rack. I just wanna rub it into the skin here just to give it the flavor. All right, so let's do this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna use a kitchen chair here. I'm just gonna take the backbone out uh, just to cut that out. Now you don't have to cut it out. I'm, I'm just going to cut it out because really not much meat into it. You can use that for a, um, uh, a soup or a stew. Okay. So, so I'm just going to get that. Just run right up the back here. You can see where it kind of sticks out. Okay. So take that out. So this chicken's got no backbone. That's the problem. Okay, so make sure it's all cleaned up in here. All right, so uh, just gonna get rid of this plate for a second. Get that in there. And again, you can save uh, anything you cut off the chicken, save and make a, a, a nice broth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is lay it flat like this. And we're just gonna crush it to break that center bone here like that. Okay, so that way it sits 
nice and flat. And uh, uh, you can probably see it from the from that camera there. Kind of a nice little heart shape here on the chicken. That's nice, huh? Never noticed that until I cracked its back and broke its chest. Boy, got some anger issues here. All right, so let's uh, make sure we get a little bit more salt on there. And some garlic powder. I mean, that's onion powder, not garlic powder. Get that on there. Okay. Get some more on the inside. And you, know, you, you want to add, add it pretty liberally because, I mean, it is a whole chicken here. You know, it's not, not just a, uh, uh, a skinless, boneless chicken breast. So it's going to take a little bit more seasoning because it's going to run out too as it cooks because of the, uh, uh, the oils running off. So let's get some of this garlic in here. Get it all in the little crevices. Right where the, the breast meets the, uh, the ribs here. So just getting it all underneath. Okay. Let's put that up. Get some more of this butter on here. So I'm just going to keep rubbing it with the butter. You know, get it underneath the skin a little bit. And that's going to help it brown. So let's fold the wings up. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the wing tips and folding them behind. You know, kind of like, like that. So, you know, it's got to be pretty comfortable. It'll, it'll be just fine when it heats up. All right. So, we've got the rack here. And we're just going to place it right on the rack, nice and flat. And this was one of the reasons why I wanted to use it this way. Now, I've done a rotisserie chicken in the power air fry oven. Uh, and I'll probably link a video somewhere out here or in the comment or in the uh, one of the cards. You'll you'll get that. Uh, but this way here, I wanted to try doing it flat uh, without having to set up the whole rotisserie and uh, and see if I, if I can get it to cook and brown nicely this way here. And besides, it'll be easier to cut afterwards too. So uh, I'm going to wash my hands uh, and then I'll bring you back when uh, I'm putting it in and we'll go through the temperature and any other seasonings I'm going to add. So now I've added a little bit extra seasoning, the remaining garlic, some salt and pepper, uh, and any extra butter that I had laying around. I just, you know, threw it on top, make sure I got it into all the uh, crevices here. And I've, in the meantime, I was preheating the uh, air fry oven. So 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, just to get it nice and uh, uh, equalized on the inside. So let's get the chicken in there. And as you can see, I mean, it fits really nicely. So. I'm going to go about halfway. I don't want to burn the top before everything cooks. So uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding my uh, thermometer to it so we can manage the temperature. All right, so uh, I'm going to be using this uh, Therm Pro meat thermometer. So let's just turn it on. You got a power button in the back here. And we're going to set it to chicken. And I'm switching mine to... Fahrenheit. All right, so chicken, it says 165. So let's get our chicken here. So I'm going to put it right into the thickest part of the breast here. Uh, I'm going to put it in kind of sideways because this is a smaller chicken. It's you know just under three pounds. Uh, so we're going to put it that way there. Make sure it didn't go all the way through. Okay. And we're going to slide that into the middle of the oven here. Okay, get the cord. Close that. Make sure it's closed. We got the thermometer here. We're going to hit the start. Use the chicken. Uh, I'm actually going to go to about 390. 20 minutes will start, but uh, we'll continue. Uh, we'll add more uh, or less time depending on when that uh, thermometer tells us we're at temperature. So right now it's, it's reading 52 degrees. We're aiming for 165. I'll bring you back when we hit that temperature and uh, get ready to take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so the chicken uh, reached the 165 
and we're getting ready to pull it out here. And you can you can see nice, nice brown skin. So we're just gonna pull that out like that. And I don't think we're gonna need that anymore. So for right now, we're just gonna let this rest for for a second here, uh, because while it's hot, we're gonna we're gonna make a uh, a sauce here. And it's a quick sauce. Just a uh, the sweet part is gonna be the honey. So maybe uh, maybe a couple of tablespoons of honey. About that much. All right. For the saltiness, we're going to use a low sodium uh, soy sauce. We can always add salt if we need to. So maybe a, I don't know, maybe a couple of tablespoons. And then I use also use this dipping sauce. It's a gyoza Kikkoman gyoza sauce. And it basically uh, it's got some uh, sweetener in it, uh, some soy sauce in it. It's kind of a mixture, but it has a different flavor to it. So it's a little bit thicker than a soy sauce. Okay, maybe a teaspoon of that in there. A little bit of black pepper. All right. And again, we're not going to add salt to it because we uh, we got plenty of soy sauce. And I'm going to use uh, some of this pure sesame seed oil. So just maybe quarter teaspoon. You don't need a whole lot. Uh, a little goes a long way here. Uh, I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil. Some green onions are going to go in here too. And for the heat, I'm going to be using uh, my hot oil. It's Thai, uh, Thai chilies, which I soak in uh, like a uh, vegetable oil. And just let it sit. And the oil just, just soaks up the, the heat. So we're just going to use maybe, maybe a half teaspoon. Uh, this stuff really gets some kick to it. So, so what I'm going to do is just stir that up a little bit, just to get that uh, that honey uh, kind of loosened up and uh, combine all the ingredients here. Okay, and I, I use a similar uh, uh, I use a, a similar uh, uh, flavoring on hot wings. Uh, in one of my early videos, I'll probably post it here somewhere. You can take a look at it. I made a sweet and spicy Asian uh, Asian buffalo wings or Asian wing recipe. So uh, just mix that up because we want to want to give it a taste to make sure it's uh, flavored flavored right. All right. So we're gonna yeah. Wow. Wow. It's got some kick. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, we want to make sure that everything is combined on here and uh, we're not too uh, salty or anything. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the soy sauce and the salt uh, uh, kind of uh, counteracts some of the heat. So if you add a little extra salt in there, it, uh, it kind of takes away the heat to kick from the heat a little bit. And I've got some, uh, some sesame seeds, so throw those in there, maybe a teaspoon or a little bit more of sesame seeds. Okay, give it a, another stir. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to baste the chicken as while it's still hot and it'll it'll kind of absorb uh, the heat. I mean this is the skin is pretty pretty crispy. So so what we're going to do is grab a brush here and I've got the uh, got the chicken on a plate here, just to capture any of the runoff. Uh, so, so we can just baste it here. Now you can baste it as as you cook it too. Uh, I think what that may do is that, that may uh, uh, make get too crispy on you, or uh, it may burn a little bit because of the sugar and the honey. So we're just gonna put that. And you can smell the uh, uh, the sesame oil. It's really I mean, it's really potent. So we're just going to add that in there. Okay. And what it will do is, as as it uh, cools off uh, and heats up the uh, the liquid, it'll dry it out a little bit, so it won't be so uh, so wet. Okay, like this. Okay, you want to make sure you get it everywhere. 
Okay, like that. So that's that's going to be probably going to be plenty here. So okay, and the screen's pretty pretty cool. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm actually just to kind of get it going and dry it out a little bit quicker. I'm going to get it into the uh, air fry oven here for just a couple of minutes at 400 degrees, as high to the heat, as close to the heat as I can, just to get a nice crisp on that uh, on that skin. So we're going to get that in there and get it as close to the heat without hitting the element uh, as I can. Turn that on, 400 degrees. And like I said, maybe a couple of minutes. Okay, so uh, when that comes out, I'll bring you back and we'll take a look. Because we're not really looking to cook it, we just want to toast the top. Uh, so essentially I'm using it like a broiler, uh, just to kind of toast that top part again. So I'm going to clean some of this mess up and I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so the chicken is done now. Uh, I was only in there for about two or three minutes just to toast up that top a little bit more and dry out some of the liquid. All right, so we, I mean, take a look at that. I mean, look at that skin. I mean, it's nice, nice and brown and toasted. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it on this platter so we can take a look at it. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So let's just get that out of the way. All right. So, so we have this chicken all ready, ready to be eaten. All right, so uh, I'm just going to cut into it here. I'm going to slice it up right. Uh, let's take a little piece of the dark meat. I've always been a leg person, so um, let's, uh, let's cut it, cut it here and see what we got. And like I said, I mean, this is a smaller chicken, so it's not, uh, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about... Uh, you know, drying it out too much because it cooks quickly and and it's going to uh, uh, it's going to keep its juices. I mean, you can see the juices in that. I mean, that's that's really nice. And what I did as a kind of a dip, uh, what I like using for especially the spicy stuff, uh, a little honey mustard uh, that I got here, and also some of the leftover uh, uh, soy sauce that the uh, that I made the sesame soy uh, that I basted this in. So I'm going to go with the honey mustard. But I mean, it looks fantastic, juicy. I mean, it's it's great. So I'm just gonna give it a little dip in there. Hmm. Wow. Wow, that's really good. It's really tender. Didn't dry out at all. It's super juicy, super moist. Uh, and these air fryers just do a really good job with chicken. I mean. That I, I've yet to run into any type of chicken to cook in there that didn't cook it well. So, uh, you know, this is the roasted chicken in the uh, air fry oven here. I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you do make it or if you have your own version of making it, let me know. I'm always interested in, uh, in knowing what uh, other people, how other people are using their air fryers. I, I'll leave some links below in the recipe uh, in, ingredients and everything will, uh, will be down in the description if you, if you guys are interested. Uh, also, check out some of the videos that uh, pop up here on the side. Uh, thanks for taking the time to uh, check out this video and spending some time with us. We appreciate the support uh, that we get from all you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.